Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video and today we're going to be doing a review of Infinite Warfare, at least the beta of what I've played so far, which is probably going to be a kind of accurate representation of the game considering the game comes out in literally a few weeks time. Um, you guys really liked my good or bad video for Battlefield 1 so we're doing it again here for Infinite Warfare. Now I'm going to start with the good things first and then into the bad. There are more negatives with this than there are positives so this shouldn't take too long. Um, the first thing is that this game does feel like a boot on the ground COD. You're not really shooting people while you're jumping and stuff. Um, this is mostly because the movement's good. Pretty much like 9 times out of 10, more than that really, your gunfights are almost all both people on the ground kind of thing. Jumping isn't really a good tactic. Um, and that's because of the jumping. Now you do jump slightly higher in this game it almost seems, but you come back down to the ground so much quicker than you did in Black Ops 3. You almost like glided in Black Ops 3, not really, but you know, there was a slower descent. You fall straight down in this game, so it makes it so that you're, even when you do jump, it is, it is well and truly just to replace ladders and that kind of mobility. Um, sniping feels insanely good like the old games. I'm going to put a clip in the background now of me getting a five man and put it this way, I can't aim with a sniper rifle. I am absolutely atrocious and I just devastate people with a sniper on this game and I don't understand how. They just feel so nice. They feel like the really old traditional snipers and, you know, the sniping community is going to absolutely love that. Um, as well as that, um, the guns in general did feel quite good, there was an gr um, insane variety of weapons for balancing reasons, of course with the weapon vents and stuff, that's something that's going to be an issue, but the actual guns did feel good overall. Um, and there was lots of classic weapons as well. Um, not just classic weapons, but for example they brought the Ripper pretty much back into the game and some other kind of weapons as normal guns, so almost like bringbacks, and then they also have a category for classic weapons, like really classic weapons, which I thought was awesome as well. However, we are now going to move on to the bad things. So, like I said, that's pretty much it for the, <laughs> for the good side of things. There's a lot of bad things, not awful, but bad things I really wanted to talk about because I feel like these videos are more useful for addressing the issues, especially since there is still time for them to fix some of them rather than talk about, because there isn't that many positives. It does just feel like kind of ghost Black Ops hybrid. Now, the main point I want to make is to why I think this game isn't going to suck, but the main issue with this game is the poor map design. It was the same for Ghosts, the time to kills was really quick, the maps had no sort of lane system, it was just ridiculous. And they are better than Ghosts maps, but they're still just not, the maps aren't good. Like, people might disagree with me here, but I think the map design is awful to be completely honest. Um, one or two of the maps were okay, decent three lane maps, but they can't just stick to three lanes like all the, they just refuse, I don't know what it is about Infinity Ward, they refuse to stick to it. Um, for example, even the map that is free lane, I forget what it, the one in space, I forget what it's called, but there's an extra lane for no reason, there's extra rooms in all the lanes so you can cut over too easily between lanes, it just feels too mad, especially for a game where you die like instantly when somebody shoots at you, you can't have this mad map design, You need there needs to be some skill involved, um, like it's just ridiculous, there's one map which they released as an extra map, it's the kind of really cool Asian looking map, and the main problem I had with that was it's literally a square where you can get to, like say I was capturing A flag and I wanted to, I needed to go and defend C flag, I could be at C flag before they've even capped it, because you could just run through the middle of the map, it was just, it, it was just awfully designed, um, so the map design in my opinion is going to be the downfall of this game. The map design is awful. It always is with Infinity Ward games recently. I don't know why. Ghost's map design was even worse. But I will give him that. It is better than Ghost's. But of course, we've not played all the maps. They might have just given us a selection of maps that I don't personally like. It might just be my opinion. Some of you guys might love the maps. But it, ugh, the maps just didn't fit with the time to kill for me. It just didn't. The maps didn't work. Um, also, the spawns were awful. However, that can be fixed. You could literally spawn within sh within line of sight of someone it was just i'm not even gonna get into that that was just the spawning can be fixed it's a beta i'm not gonna go into that too much but the spawning was 
god awful. Um, the time to kill as well. The main problem with the time to kill was if you're in a gunfight with someone and then somebody else comes along, you're dead. Even if you kill that guy, you're not surviving. In Black Ops 3, sometimes you could shoot someone and then you could get the double kill. In this game, that doesn't happen. If there's two people, you're dead. If you shoot one person and then somebody else comes along, you do not have time to turn. By the time you turn, you're already dead. You don't even get a chance to fire. Um, I might just be me being awful, but I could never find myself winning 2v1s when both enemies knew I was there. Um, if I flanked the enemies, then yes, but if it was like head on, it was just like winning 2v1 actual engagements was just near impossible because of the time to kill, which kind of sucks. It kind of just takes a bit of the fun out of the game because you're dying for no reason just because you've happened to encounter two, three enemies. You should at least have a chance to try and like do something cool. I, I don't know. I just didn't like it. Um, but I've never liked the time to kill on, on the go. I, I hated it on Ghost, and some people loved it, so. The hybrid weapons as well. Hybrid weapons, I think, is going to destroy the competitive scene because, like, it, it, there's a reason the Ripper wasn't allowed in competitive on Ghosts. It's just, I mean, it was a DLC weapon as well, and at that point, they weren't adding any DLC weapons to, you know, obviously, they don't add the DLC weapons, but I just, I think the hybrid weapons are a bit too OP for competitive. They're just going to kind of ruin it a bit, but... You know, I'm not going to go into that too much because they're kind of a double-edged sword. They were good and bad. The shotguns did feel a little bit overpowered. They weren't ridiculous, but especially the semi-automatic one. You could fire it as fast as you wanted, and it was also a one-shot kill, um, which just seems bizarre to me, but I'm not going to get into that. But with gunk-ho and momentum, it was just absurd, the shotguns. Um, and the final thing is the health regeneration just felt a little bit slow, considering that if you get shot twice, you're basically one-shot for like 5-10 seconds. Now, there are guns and, and classes and stuff which improve your health regeneration, which I think is why it's so slow, but I still, I just didn't like it. But, again, these some of these things are things that can be fixed. The shotguns bouncing can be fixed. The health regeneration can be fixed. The spawns can be fixed. But stuff like the map design cannot be fixed in two weeks' time. The map design is flawed and it, it cannot physically be fixed. Alright guys, so to give you guys a summary, it does feel like a good boots on the ground cut in that sense. The movement mechanics have been done really well, the sniping feels really good, and you know, they've brought back a lot of classic weapons, they've listened to the community in that sense. However, poor map design and a couple of other poor, the, the fact that they're never going to be able to truly balance the game, I think between those two might just make Infinite Warfare a complete failure. Um, but that is going to be all for this video. Let me know what you guys thought of the Infinite Warfare beta so far. There is another weekend. We might see some stuff in the next weekend's beta. This is just off the first weekend. But let me know what you guys thought. I'm probably going to get a little bit of hate from the COD people on this video, but it doesn't matter too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're only around here. See you guys in the next video.